Hi guys, how are you all in this lovely cold winter's weather we're getting at the moment? So what I thought I'd actually do is a small review video today on clothing that's warm. Um, basically, you've got so many things out now, you don't have to buy name brands or anything, but you get a lot of heated jackets, heated gilets. Um, heated shells, things like that, where you can just keep yourself above freezing in this kind of weather. Um, I mean, to give you an idea, it's what, early, well, mid-January now. It's half past two, three o'clock in the afternoon. There's still frost outside on the lakes, on the uh, gardens, everything like that. It's cold. And when you're sitting there fishing for anything from, you know, four to eight, six, seven, eight hours in a match, it's going to be a cold one. Now fingers, you can't do much about. You're going to get a bit cold on them when you're holding the pole or your rod or trying to bait up, which makes putting your bait on a little bit fiddly. But for the rest of your body, there's a lot of things out there. So the one I'm going to show you a bit of, this is the Preston Soft Shell Heated Jacket. Now I've a lot of people have been on about the Preston one saying, you know, you need your own nuclear thermal plant to get it warm. No, I've, um, I've got a cheap block, um, which is a 10,000 milliamp, 20 watt. That keeps it going on a high heat for about 3-4 hours. If I want it on a low heat, it'll do 7 hours, easy. But when I wear it, I'm wearing it with a base layer and the jacket, and then I've got my waterproof um, bib brace over the top of that but the base layer and the jacket I'm warm I'm warm from the ankles up feet another matter they're the buggery ones to keep warm um, I've tried numerous different socks to find out what's the best the Preston Celsius ones are good and um, seal skins if you can get them I'm not actually made a seal skin by the way just in case you're worried and um, seal skin make they're really good um, and then you can actually buy, believe it or not, heated socks. But if you can get the thermal waterproof socks, they're the things for your toe toes. Because once your feet get cold, your body starts feeling cold. Doesn't matter what you do. But for trying to keep the rest of you warm, yeah, Preston jacket. To give you an idea, I'm going to do it best I can without having to put it on. It is a soft shell, waterproof sort of material. Well, I say waterproof showerproof. I've been out in some downpours in this over the last couple of weeks and it's kept me fairly dry. I had a really heavy heavy downpour and yes the water got through it a bit but as soon as the heating element turned on dried out. Win-win. It is fairly well reinforced around the shoulders, around the sides and your zip pockets zip up nice and solid. They're not the waterproof zips that you get on some of your layers as you can see, they're just a normal zip, but they're fairly sturdy, fairly strong. Big hard rubber toggle on it as well, so you can always find it in the cold and in the wet to get your pocket zipped up. They're sort of fleecy lined pockets as well, but in them is your heat element. So you've got heat element in your pocket, you've got heat element on the lower part of the back here, if you will, and then heat element in the shoulder area as well, here. I believe that's where it is. I am going to just check my book just to make sure that's where it is. Yeah, top part of the shoulders, lower back and pockets. There are four settings for it. You've got low, medium, high and very high. Very high, unless you've got a 20, 30,000 milliamp battery, it'll drain your block down from full within about three hours, but it will get warm. You know, it's not, I'm not going to say you're going to sit there in a sauna, but you'll get warm, you know. You've also got your standard hood with your pull tight toggles if you want to wrap it around your neck. Your inside of the zip line has got a little fleecy area on the inside and then a flap as well, just to stop any water from running in, getting down the trunk, everything like that. Now, the other thing about it is, yes, you have a chest pocket. Now, the chest pocket seals up a bit different if you can see it. That one does seals up that little bit better with a bit more protection on it away from the elements. So if you've got like your phone in there or anything like that, it's gonna stay a bit better dry. 
And then inside the left hand pocket is your USB-C cable. And that's what plugs into your power bank, if you will, or your power block. There's a USB-C cable. So that is that. It's all Preston logoed as they normally are. Big pre well, Preston Innovation's written on the back. It's written on the front um, of the arms. It's on the bloody bottom. It's on the bottom of the cuffs. You've got your sort of, well, material cuffs, if you will, that are sort of stretchy and springy, just to keep that water and the wind out from getting on, up under your sleeves. And, well, I'll have to try it on just to show you. I've got, I've got a thick jumper on today, as you can see. If I stand up like that, zip it up, you can see that is not a bad fit for me. And this is a large. Now I'm 5 foot 11, and I'm just shy of 14 stone. So the large is the perfect fit for me. And this is with a jumper and a t-shirt on, and I've still got bags room. It's not too tight, it's not restrictive. So you'd be able to get away with wearing this with quite a lot of stuff. With that, mine needs a wash in there, well a wipe clean. It is wipe clean material really, if you're going to wash it you want to be careful how you wash it. There is instructions and all that in it. Your button is located on the left, sort of just below the, the, the collar if you will, on the left hand side. And it's just a, um, I'll bring it up to the camera a bit, it's just like a plastic disc that you press. And it will go through the colours. The colours will refer to how much power or heat you're using. And it will just get warmer and warmer until you recycle it back to green, I think, which is the start. You can turn it off, of course. Once it's on, it doesn't mean it stays on all the time. You can just keep pressing it, it'll eventually go off. For base layers, there are numerous base layers you can buy. Don't ask me which one's the best. I was looking at everything from... How can hunt sort of base layers to Under Armour to Gore-Tex to um, Guru, everything. I ended up going cheap and cheerful. So it came as a kit. In fairness, I say I went cheap and cheerful. Got this for Christmas off my sister. I went for the cheapy cheerful ones, if you will. 40 quid for the leggings and the top. And that is the dialer. Which are, of course, they're, they're, they're basically polyester. And these are large as well. You know, it looks like a very thin, small waist, but they do stretch fair. They do have, which is a lifesaver, a fly at the top. So if you want to sort of relieve yourself while at the bank, and you don't have to take everything off, or get it all down and everything, zip, ideal. Stops everything from getting blooming freezing cold. Again, they've just got a little bit of Daiwa logo in on it there. Fairly tight, they're like wearing a pair of, um, what do you call them, gym trackies if you will. Hug your body nice and tight, nice cuffs on the bottom of your feet as well, or on your bottom of your legs to keep the wind from getting in there. Tucks right into your socks and boots, nothing gets in. And they are fairly warm, they're fleece lined inside. And they keep you nice and cosy. And the upper layer is just the same, it's almost like a, a, a soft shell top if you will. It's all windproof fleece and stuff, fleece lined inside and a little zip up around the neck to get that nice and cosy around your neck which with me I've got a bit of a bigger neck than usual so it's not the most comfortable but that again is the large base layer. It's, I've got bags of room in it you know I'm probably if I wanted it tight tight I'd have gone for a medium but I'm not a medium in anything else why would I do that? It's the usual stuff by their um, waterproof gear is it some sun ridge away I'm trying to see if it's on the blooming label here I can't see it I've washed it a few times I think it's Sunridge in it that do their um, jackets bib and braces and things like that it's them it's not you know rocket science and, and, and NASA space age material stuff it's just simple fleece lined base layer but it does the job like I say I've worn that with that me jacket, bib and brace, fishing in, I think it was minus three when I done the match a couple of weeks ago, three weeks ago. I was cosy, like again, Toto's got cold, that was it. But that was my own stupidity for wearing the wrong shoes with the wrong socks. 
if you can get yourself a pair of you know fleece lined or thermaled boots and um, even they don't have to be dear because I can tell you now for a fact DM which are cheap cheap cheerful stuff do a boot that's about 24 to 26 pound it's fleeced it's waterproof welly type material up to the laces at the top and then it's just a normal hardy material that's scratch proof thorn proof wind proof the laces go all the way up in an overlap to tighten around your ankle and then they do an even longer one that's almost like a it's like a hunting boot if you will and I think they're about 40 or 50 pound which is still cheap for what they are total waterproof total windproof scratch proof thorn proof everything for cheap brilliant you know because like I say I have to go on a budget as well at times and that's what I got you can go for dry fish dry fish boots are quite good by Preston don't get me wrong they are don't know how thermal they are or fleece lined again how can hunt very very good and then you've got other ones that do like a fleeced trainer boot so you've got your big brands Corum and all these as well do them in your in your carp fishing gear so pick and choose but on normal welly Bob if you will like a Dunlop welly it's not going to keep you warm on the bankside in the winter so make sure you've got some warm um, footwear warm socks again seal skin celsius stuff like that very very good got to keep that water and rain out of your feet because once your feet get cold you are on a losing battle okay so yeah that's all i was going to show you today with quick quick little review the preston um bib, uh, jacket sort of thing the, the, the heated jacket which like i say get yourself a twenty thousand milliamp power pack with 20 to 30 watt output usb-c it has to be because that's what the plug is and yeah you'll you'll stay toasty on the bank and that's what you need to be you need to be comfortable because if you're not comfortable you're not going to concentrate you're not going to enjoy your day even if you're on a pleasure session you know so there you go tight lines see you on the bank